So this is the view from the White Cliffs of Dover from the National Trust Cafe. Um, France is clearly visible on the horizon, slightly to the left. So we've now arrived at the Channel Tunnel entrance in Kent and will shortly be um, arriving in France. So we've just arrived at the Saturday Market uh, near St Catherine's Church in Honfleur. Um, the sun's just come out. We've learned while we've been here to totally ignore the weather forecast because um, it's so changeable here. It, it said sunny from 8 o'clock this morning and it was quite dull but now the sun's just come out at last so uh, it's just the right weather for browsing a French market. As you can see there's all kinds of things here. Well, it's a lovely warm day in Normandy today, gang. The thermometers on the pharmacies are saying 29 degrees. And as you can see, the Grand Bassin is beautifully sunlit today under a powder blue sky. There's our favourite bar on the corner there. But we're spoilt for choice with the uh, restos and the bistros here. So in this charming little square there are lots of art shops and there's the old St Catherine's Church there which I think is made, uh, the ceiling's made from two boats uh, upturned. It's very charming walking down the uh, north end of the harbour where all the nice restaurants are. It's a very hot sunny day. Early afternoon on Friday. And the harbour is absolutely buzzing with tourists. Couvrir, messieurs, dames, le plus beau pont du monde. Le pont de Normandie. These views of the Pont de Normandie are absolutely stunning and uh, Alors, sa construction a commencé en 80 and the river it goes all the way of en course, to Paris and the Eiffel Tower. Okay gang, so we've arrived in the harbour area of Deauville uh, and there's some charming pleasure boats in the harbour. Uh, we're going to try and find the centre of town now. Well, this little road leading into town is very charming. There's a lot of sort of uh, 1900 uh, era villas built in that lovely Normandy style with the half timbering. So this one looks a bit like a haunted house. This one's definitely got an Elizabethan look about it, but probably built only a hundred years or so ago. I've said it many times, but why don't we have lovely uh, pavement cafes like this in British seaside? And I'm sure these cafes stay open in the evening and serve alcohol as well. So that's the cafe we just ate in, which is called Le Mornies, and um, there's some lovely kind of mock Tudor architecture going on in this town. We deliberately came to Deauville on a Monday when it would be a bit quieter. Uh, because people warned us it gets really frenetic at the weekends and difficult to get served and so on. Well, this is a very charming little pleasure boat harbour at Deauville. Uh, maybe not quite as impressive boats as the south of France, but nonetheless very colourful and 
charming and again surrounded by lovely buildings. We're heading for the tourist office. We're going to try and get a map of the place. There's a very charming Grand Station at Deauville where one can take a high-speed train to Paris. It's, I think, just over an hour to get to Paris from here. Trouville now, and it's very charming, beautiful pavement cafes. So we're just meandering through the old lanes of uh, Trouville down to the beach. And another splendid view of the casino as we emerge from the old town towards the beach area now and we're looking in the direction of southern England here you can probably get to Bournemouth if you got a boat from here a rather sombre reminder that uh, the currents can be a little bit strong well gang one couldn't come to Deauville without seeing the glamorous beach huts uh, once frequented by the stars, we've got Steve McQueen here, Ang Lee, the famous director, Michael Caine. My name is Michael Caine. You're only supposed to blow the blooming doors off. Well, we're getting much more glamorous now on Deauville Beach. Uh, we've got the private beach chairs and umbrellas there on this gloriously sunny day. What a beautiful place. This is uh, definitely rivalling the south of France if you ask me. Well we're sitting on the beach now at Deauville which is to my mind every bit as glamorous as uh, Nice or Saint-Tropez especially when you get this really hot weather which sometimes you can get in Normandy we've been very lucky. Well gang uh, the Deauville beach most glamorous beaches in Europe, even though it's in Normandy, not the south of France. And over there you can see a very charming Bar du Soleil, which is a glamorous restaurant frequented by Hollywood movie stars. And the uh, row of uh, sort of beach hut buildings you can see at the side have all got the names of people like Leo DiCaprio and Marlon Brando and all those kind of people. Tip number one, gang, when you come to Bayeux, uh, we parked just slightly on the outskirts of town. It's literally a five minute walk from the Tapestry Museum. Because if you park in this car park next to the museum, you have to pay. So a literally a five minute walk saves you from paying and all the hassle of paying. So we're going to check out uh, Bayeux now. Just entering the hall of the Tapestry now. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to film inside the Bayeux Tapestry uh, Museum itself, but uh, there's a copy of it upstairs and we're allowed to film that. So this is the crucial bit where Harold unfortunately gets an arrow in his eye. And this is a charming 3D version of the tapestry, which is very cleverly done. So after the Bayer Tapestry, uh, one can exit the museum and head to the charming old town and of course the Cathedral of Bayer. The old town of Bayer is very charming. We've just found this little square outside the cathedral. Lots of good gothic uh, gargoyles there. Inevitably in a French tourist trap there is a little land train buzzing around the town which looks very charming and full of people. Walking back to the car now through the charming lanes of Bayeux, the little train is just setting off, and 
there are lots of charming little lanes here with cafes and little shops, gift shops, and there's the river down there. Okay gang, so we are at Etretat today, uh, going to do the cliff top walk. The options are to walk up there towards the chapel, or to take the Claude Monet option and walk up this cliff where the famous archway is, which was painted by Claude Monet uh, back in the day. So I think we're going to take the Claude Monet option today. By the way gang, Etretat is one of the most expensive towns we've ever been to. It cost 15 euros to park for five hours in the car park. Uh, but nevertheless, it's a very charming place. Well, there are streams of travellers coming up and down both ways. It feels almost like a pilgrimage. So, we're at the platform now gang with a fabulous view over the coast town of Etretat. Okay, we're on top of the cliff. Now we're up with the seagulls and the birds. Stunning views on the coast. There's a seagull. It's so beautiful here, you could just keep filming it all day, so I don't want to keep dwelling on this, but it's absolutely stunningly beautiful. I can see why Claude Monet came here to paint this. Well, this is the final shot of the cliff. I think we've walked far enough. You know, you can just keep walking forever, I think. But uh, that's absolutely beautiful over there. I'll say one thing for Etretat, the parking is absolutely appalling and uh, it cost 15 euros just for five hours, but the town is very charming and colourful. Well, today, gang, we are visiting the beautiful village of bouvron en auge uh, which is an internationally renowned, charming little village in the middle of uh, Normandy. Well, this is a very typical French setup with uh, Charming little half timbered houses, lovely restaurants, cafes, everything that the tourist could possibly want. Inside a very charming courtyard. Apparently the village nearly burnt down in 1920 when someone set off a firework at the village festival but uh, luckily it all seems to have been uh, very charmingly restored at any rate.